Good morning. I have decided to make a cheesecake right quick. So I thought, oh, let me come online and do it. But before then, I was looking at the plant. It's doing pretty good, right? I think so too. I'm proud of it. It's doing pretty good. Anyway, I found a recipe on the uh, tasteaholics.com. Their recipe is for mini cheesecake, but I'm just going to do a little small cheesecake. So um, let's get to baking. Okay, this is the ingredient list. I've got two tablespoons of butter, a half a cup of some almond flour. Again, this is a keto-friendly dessert, so I use almond flour instead of real flour. So this will be the crust. I then have eight ounces of cream cheese. Got to use, I forgot how much of the lemon juice, a pinch of salt, one large egg, some vanilla extract, and then a fourth a cup of, um, I have organic stevia blend, erythrol or something. I'm not sure yet how you pronounce it, but anyway, these are the ingredients for it. So there's almond flour, there's butter, cream cheese, an egg, real lemon juice, sea salt, pure vanilla extract, and again, the um, sugar substitute. So I have organic stevia. Let's get to baking. And look, I'm doing old school with my little mixer. Have a little spring form pan that I'll be using. And this is what I'll actually mix all my stuff up in. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is melt my two tablespoons of butter. So I'll melt that in the microwave. After melting that, I'm gonna add my half a cup of almond flour to it. Get that to a little crumbly consistency and then for me again i'm making a whole cheesecake i'm not doing a little cheesecake bites i'll then add that crumbly mixture here into the bottom of my spring form pan all right so stay tuned i'll show you that process like all together all right it's going to be delicious um again this is a keto friendly dessert so me with my low fat i mean no with my high fat low carb diet this is a great great dessert it's definitely tasty and it's real good again the recipe that i'm using is from tasteaholics.com so i want to give credit to where the recipe came from tasteaholics.com all right stay tuned for the mixing of the crust Okay, the crust is in the oven. That needs to bake at 350 for five minutes. So while that's baking, I'm adding my block of cream cheese, uh, a half a teaspoon of lemon, a vanilla extract. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. I have one egg, and I also have um, a fourth cup of my sweetener. And then I will also add just a pinch of um, salt to that mix which will be the cheesecake base. All right, here we go.
Okay, so now the cheesecake is ready. The crust has come out of the oven, so my next step is to add the cheesecake base to the crust, and then I need to put that in the oven for about 15 minutes. So that's what's next, all right? Okay, time to bake at 350 for 15 minutes. So, while I got 15 minutes on my hand, time to play cleanup from all the little dishes. But, when I come back, we'll have cheesecake. Well, after it bakes actually for 15 minutes, it's still a little jiggly in the middle, which is the way it's supposed to be. And then you refrigerate it for, they suggest like 24 hours or put it in the freezer. So, I'll probably put it in the freezer because we do have an event going on this afternoon. So, I'll put it in the freezer for a few hours and then we'll check it out later on. While I'm waiting for the cheesecake to come out, I um I threw in some frozen string beans with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, some lemon pepper, mint, minced onions, and a little bit of salt. So these string beans will go with the uh, baked chicken breast that I have cooking also. So nice, easy, simple. Just some frozen string beans. And I threw just a little bit of water in there to help it steam up real quick. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, 15 minutes are up. Cheesecake is out. It is a little jiggly in the middle like it should be. Not sure if you can tell that. But we'll let it sit and then it will go in the refrigerator. And after, I don't know, a few hours, I'll then take it out of my little string form pan. Because again, this recipe from tasteaholics.com is really for like mini cheesecakes but I do it and it's just a nice easy thin cheesecake dessert that tastes delicious so check it out see how the edges have browned a bit it's gonna be delicious do you hear my string beans back there they're gonna be good with the chicken breast that I just baked all right I just put the cheesecake into the freezer actually Again, after taking it out of the oven for the 15 minutes, you're then supposed to let it chill for 24 hours in the refrigerator. Or if you don't have 24 hours, you can then just put it in the freezer. So I'm going to put it in the freezer. I got my chicken breast already done. I already have my string beans done. And so now I am going to get started with the rest of my day. So later this evening, once I'm back home, I'll um, show you the finished I'm back home from the day's festivities and I finished the cheesecake. It's been in the freezer for about mm, seven hours, I think. About seven hours. So I'm going to take it out of the spring form pan so we can see the final product, right? All right. So this is it in the spring form pan. See the, how it browned around the edges with baking. And this will be my second time only using a spring form pan. So. Hopefully this comes out cleanly. It's going to be real deal. Let me get a paper plate to put it on. Well, I guess I won't need a paper plate because it's still going to be on the bottom of the pan. Right. Okie dokie. So spring form pan, if you're familiar with it, again, it's only my second time, but you literally pull this out and it should come off. Wow, I don't remember if last time if I had to like, Use a knife or something around the sides. Ha! We will see. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. I guess that was clean and easy. <laughs> so see? Nice, thin, easy. So it's going to be just a nice, easy, handy dandy dessert. I cut a piece just to show you what's what and again I'm not a big sweet person we'll just cut a oh it's frozen 
<sighs> Let's go around the, just the edge. See, thankfully it's just me. So I can just do what I want to do with my own little stuff. I don't have to share it. But I will share this with my daughters. Maybe my nephew as well. Uh-oh. I didn't get my... I didn't cut it all the way to the bottom. That sucked. But here we go. And it is rather tasty. I wanted to show you the crust. Remember we made our crust with the almond flour. And it is really tasty. See our little cream cheese consistency. Hopefully that's clear enough and not blurry. It is tasty. It really is tasty. All right. So that was the cheesecake recipe. Again, the recipe I got from tasteaholics.com. Their recipe was for maybe keto mini cheesecakes that you make in a little um, muffin pan. You could have had separate little cheesecakes, but I did one in a whole little springform pan. It's delicious. Check it out. I love the crust because of that almond flour and all that butter. And I added a little bit. If you saw me mixing the crust up earlier, I added a little bit of um, s'mores sugar-free flavor to it. I think last time I maybe did caramel, and it was just to add a little bit more flavor to the crust. It really is delicious, though, people. Right. So Before check really out. calling it a night, I wanted to just show another piece of the pie. I cut just another little piece off just so you can see a little better. So, you see the crust was little. Again, it's almond flour. And I didn't let it get super duper brown. Nice, easy consistency for the cheesecake. And it's really delicious. Again, I literally just took it out of the freezer before cutting it. Again, a nice, great sweet. Just wanted to show you kind of a better, hopefully, picture of a whole little piece. All right. Peace and love. Till next time.